Imagine if marketing can feel truly authentic to you. Imagine that you could do marketing in a way that fits who you are and is welcomed by the world. So in this interview, I have a guest. Her name is Maria Arredondo, and she is an expert with a method called um, branding for archetypes. And I'm excited to have her share with you how it can help people like us who want to achieve success without selling our soul, how to do that by understanding ourselves better and therefore aligning our marketing strategies uh, better with who we really are. So before I bring her on, let me just read you her bio and then uh, we'll get going from there. So Maria is a coach who specializes in authentic transitions. She mostly works with heart center entrepreneurs who are tired of fitting in the mainstream success model and feel that there must be a better way. Maria guides them to find their truth so that they can take a new direction that is more fulfilling and better aligned with their deeper self and their soul's success or the soul's desires. She also helps them find their own voice and path in marketing through her branding with archetypes process. Maria, great to have you here. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, George, for the invitation. Yeah. So um, where should we start? I mean, there's, you, you have this process that I think is fascinating, and uh, I've had some of my own clients work with you on it, and they found it very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe you could start with kind of why this is needed, especially now, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Great questions. Well, this all started when I became a coach seven or eight years ago. And it started with an observation that a lot of my peers, a lot of coaches with whom I was training, loved the coaching, loved being able to help people. But none of them really liked marketing. And every time I talked with them about marketing or business, they would just hide under a table like, oh, I hate to do this. And, you know, I'm not good at this. And, oh, I just can't stand marketing. So um, I actually happened to love marketing even then. And I love it even more now. But what, what, so, so that's what, how it started. It started with this observation and also the observation that there's something wrong with, with marketing. Or the perception that people have around marketing. And business also. And I think what's going on is that people have this experience of big companies, of um, people trying to sell them things all the time. And they think they have to do the same. They have to have a voice like some big brand or some big name in their industry. And, and they don't want to feel salesy. These people like, who have already um, started the journey of self-discovery through coaching, therapy, whatever, have already a level of awareness that makes them different from many. And that's the difference. Like, they are more sensitive to what's fake and what's inauthentic than many. So um, th this doesn't mean that they know how to do it differently. It only means that they are sensitive to it. So what I have noticed with time and experience is that um, there's a lot of people out there also in the marketing space that say, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to be successful, how to make six, seven figures, eight figures, whatever. And people try, you know, because they want to learn. We're very eager to learn. Um, so they try and it doesn't work. And then it's like, but I'm doing everything right. Oh, they think they're doing everything right. So um, I've done the same, by the way. I've hired multiple figure coaches to help me with, you know, how to be successful, how to make six figures and everything. So I know what I'm talking about here. Um, so over time, I also realized that it's not so much about the doing. So you can learn how to do something. The really difference is the being, who you are. Mm. And then... Once you understand who you really are, then you can maybe apply the success formula that somebody else has, but it really starts within. So I, I've been very, very 
curious and very attuned to authenticity and what makes one unique. And when I discovered this process a couple of years ago and I trained and certified in this, uh, it was really life changing for me. There was something that finally helped me put words into who I am, not just as a, as a, as a person, but also as a brand, like as a business. And yeah, so that was the answer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I would love to, uh, you know, go explore this branding with archetypes idea mm -hmm. with the audience here um, as much as we are able to in, in mm -hmm. this short interview. So give people an idea of what they can expect when they, is it a, is it a kind of a test that they take or an assessment? Uh, how, how does that work? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to say about this process is uh, what branding is, or at least what branding oh, okay. is yeah, for me. Because we often think about branding like it's your fonts and your colors on your website and your, you know, the, your logo. There's a lot of effort put into creating logos and everything. But for me, what branding is, it's really the creation of an experience. Mm. Like when people come, co come in, in, in contact with you or with me, they have an, an experience of me or an experience of you. Yeah. But then when we try to, 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 to expand our reach through social media, through writing, through videos, or maybe not so much videos, but still, um, a lot of our essence gets lost in, in, in translation in a way. It's like it get, it's the, the, who we are, like our essence, is not um, might be diffused, and also because we're trying to we're trying to be like somebody who's already successful, and we're trying to copy their voice. So what this does is that it it sounds fake, and not necessarily fake, but it sounds um, so. The person creating that message or sharing that message is not yeah doesn't feel really like it's it's me or it's you, right? It's like mm. it doesn't feel really authentic. So by understanding what makes you unique, what understand, by understanding what makes your personality unique, or how you stand out, then you can, you can make the unconscious conscious. So you can use it intentionally. So this is what gets, um, um, this is what, what, what is highlighted through this process. And it starts with an assessment. So it's an assessment you take. It's a free assessment that I, that I share with uh, the people who are interested. And at the end of the, the assessment, you discover what your signature archetype is and then your influencing archetype. So archetypes have been in this world forever and ever. So, but there's, um, in, there's, they're present in, in tales, then pre they're present in stories of all kinds. And they are really... Um, like not not models but there there's ways to understand people things stories so it's like you can really find all our, this assessment what it does it helps you understand which two are most dominantly present in you mm, that's great and give us a give us an idea of what some of those archetypes are if, if it's possible to do that in this kind of situation sure. Yes, so um, I work with 12 archetypes. Wow. And I work with a set of cards, actually. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So nice. it's, a, it's a card like this that has a lot of information on it. And um, the idea of understanding what your primary archetypes are, at least in the way that I work with them, is to understand that each archetype has a way also to connect with people. Mm -hmm. So each archetype has a spiritual contract, like a life purpose or a purpose, mm -hmm. but there also are, there's also um, a universe that is created when you really embody this, this archetype. And this is what I help my clients do when they discover their archetype. Be like, what, first of all, how can you, how can you embody? What, what makes your archetype unique? And how does it show? How does it show in the presence that you're creating, in the universe you're creating? Just like when you enter a house, your house is not going to look like my house because we're different. So like, how can you invite people to enter your house and so that it feels like you, your house, not somebody else's house? So we also work um, 
with a brown soul, which is really, again, you know, back to this metaphor of uh, a universe, like what makes, what creates this universe. Then I also help my clients understand the strengths that each archetype has and also their challenges. And, and then um, we dive into how can they use this very specifically in their business through words, through images, through um, everything that can be tangible. So it really expresses their, their, their soul in a way or their, 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 uh, their business's personality. And then what I find even more fascinating and that what my clients love also is how that universe that they are creating will resonate with a very specific set of people. And we also speak about that when we go through the process because um, each archetype attracts and yeah, uh, people who are looking for something specific. And when you know what this is, then it's much easier to communicate with people because you know what they're looking for. And you feel also, usually what happens is that people, my clients feel very validated. It's like, oh, I never thought that this was important or useful. It's like, oh, and now I see it. I see how this might be useful and how my people will value this and how I can use this to talk about my work so the right people come to me. Yeah, that's great. Well, I, you know, recently I have started talking about this concept of energy signature. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how I came across it. I'm sure I heard about it somewhere, but I started, I started using that term. I don't even know. It, maybe other people are using the term differently, but I'm talking about how, you know, we have this energy signature where um, it just resonates with somebody else who has a similar energy signature or kind of a, something that's meant to be there. And um, no matter if we make mistakes or anything that we do, the energy signature is still there and, and it still kind of attracts uh, the kind of people who would, would find that interesting. But anyway, it sounds a little bit like that. And uh, I'm really I'm excited that you're, you're doing this for people. And um, yeah, so um, <clears throat> there's something that you talk about, about um, deconditioning, self-awareness, mm -hmm. deconditioning. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that and, and how does that relate to what were, you know, this authenticity and yeah, these archetypes. Yeah, great. Um, so conditioning, if I start with conditioning, is the process through which we become <clears throat> adapted to our environment. So we become conditioned through education um, and through experiences. And my, I, I strongly believe that we are born innocent and pure. Like when we are babies, there's nothing. But then society and parents and, and education and everything teaches us how to be and who to be. So um, what this does is that we, we forget who we are. Like some people tend to become somebody because their parents wanted them to become doctors or something, or you, know, you, you avoid conflict because you've been told that conflict is, conflict is wrong, or that you don't cry anymore because you know, if you cry, you're weak, and you shouldn't be weak. And all these messages taint who we are. Like they, they really, so they build a character, and, but the, this character also, in a way, um, takes us further away from our essence, from who we really are. And then we have a number of beliefs, number of judgments, number of things that really hide in a way what our true essence is. So the process of deconditioning is the process of noticing all these things, all these patterns, of the, all these beliefs that are not really serving us. And one of them in our, in our online business world is like, oh, we need to be like the only way to be successful is if you build a six or seven figure business but who says so i mean there's somebody who might need six or seven figures to, to be happy and make a living um i may not need that but i'm still if i buy into that then i'm becoming somebody else i'm pursuing somebody else's dream or somebody else's needs and in that process i'm forgetting about myself so the first, when, when, when you, when I, if I start looking at myself and what do I need, what am I excited about? 
what do I long for? What's, what do I want to create in this world? Then I can start to really understand what's important to me. What's important to me and how I want to do this. What's the path I want to trail? And this is how archetypes can help you because through this process, and especially when, when taking the assessment, people really get an understanding of um, who they are beyond this conditioning. It doesn't mean that there's no conditioning at all, but it means that they can, this, this assessment is built in such a way that they can really see what they can't see. It's like, you know, people, it's like, oh, I, I love using this, this image. It's like, you can't see your own nose because it's in the middle of your face. You need a mirror to see that. So this is the mirror. This is the mirror that helps people like us really see what they are made of. Hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> that's great. Um, so anything else you want to share about the archetypes or <clears throat> actually maybe it's, it's a good uh, opportunity for us now to turn towards what do you offer um, business owners, entrepreneurs, those who want to discover their archetype, branding archetype? Do you do, you do one-to-one? Uh, I know you offer a program that's coming up. Uh, either one you want to talk about is great. Yes. So... Where I, so my, my work really starts um, with looking inward. Like to, to be able to start this deconditioning, uh, you need to look inside, as I said, to, what, you know, to, to, to who you are, so that you can change the outside, the marketing part. And um, Branding with Archetypes is part of that. And I, yes, I work one-on-one. -on -one, and I have this upcoming program where we look at all the different elements that I have talked about today. Like, first of all, understanding your archetypes. Uh, so what are they? So first discovering them, then understanding them, understanding how you might or might not be living in alignment with that. I, I'm going to put my own example here because I, I, wasn't, I was running my business not aligned with my, with my archetypes. And over time, what has happened is that I've regularly felt exhausted and uninspired and almost like a fake, like this is not, like, this is not working for me. When I took the test and I discovered my archetypes, I realized that my business was being run by my, my influencing archetype, not the primary archetype. And this was causing a lot of effort. Like I was really, really trying hard and I was really pushing and I was really and it didn't work. My soul wasn't fed. Then when I saw that, first of all, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to, I thought, no, 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 this is not me at all. You know, my, my archetypes in the right order are romantic and ruler. And I thought, I'm not a romantic, you know, there's no way. This is not true. This can't be true. But then when I understood what romantic really meant for me and how it's all about creating um, intimate connections and, and helping people also see, well, if I translate this into my business, how, how I can help people create this inner intimate connection with themselves, it made all the sense. And then the ruler that comes second for me is about creating order out of chaos. So I, um, all this to say that there's a moment when you need to understand where your business is, is, uh, is, is run from. And the, there's a big shift that happens when you know which is the right one that drives your business. Because then again, it's like, oh, this makes sense. I, I can actually, there's really a sense that I see in my clients. There's really a sense of validation and claiming who they really are. So this is one of the things we, we explore in my, in my four-week program. And we, so we start with the assessment, as I said before, then we look at the spiritual contract. We also look at this brand soul, so this universe that, we, that, that, um, that each archetype has and how to create it. The strengths, uh, the challenges, the, the words and other elements that can be used to create this universe. And then we pay particular attention to the clients. So each archetype's clients and how is that present or not in the way they are running their business and how they can better talk to them so they can create better connections with them. Mm, wonderful. Uh, yeah. 
And is the uh, four-week program, is it a group program or one-on-one? Yes, it's a group program and it's going to be small groups so between, probably between six and ten people. Mm. That's great. Okay, very good. And it's, uh, you've got this running on an ongoing basis, I'm assuming, I mean, then there's one starting in May. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, the intention is to run one every month or so. Every month. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, how can folks get in touch with you and uh, connect with you? Yeah. So they can go to my website, which is uh, pivotmundi.com. P-I-V-O-T-M-U-N-D-I.com. And the specific page for this program is pivotmundi.com slash B-W-A group. Great. I'll be sure to, of course, have the links in the notes of the video so people can just click on the links there. Maria, thank you so much for doing your work. And um, I look forward to seeing if anybody here takes you up on that offer and uh, does the work. And please let us know what, what you discover about yourself and your brand soul and um, how you can do marketing more authentically going forward. Thank you. I will. Thank you very much, George. Thank you.